Good afternoon. We're standing here on College Road and we're about to look at this lovely big white 1930s semi-detached house called Worcester. Um, College Road, just so you can see, on one side of the road you've got the original old Victorian railway cottages and on this side of the road you've got some rather lovely old 30s houses. Some of these were designed by the local architect Harold Turner and this particular house has been extended. It's had a, a two-story extension to the side and it's been pushed out the back, so it's got a fabulous big kitchen. Um, Location-wise, this is a dream. You're on the uh, just on the north side of Haywards Heath. If you walk in a westerly direction, just along College Road, literally just at the end of the road, you can see you can turn left into Mill Green Road, walk up past the fire station. You're at the host, um, you're at the railway station and uh, Waitrose and Commercial Square. There's various food outlets, so you're 0.4 miles to the railway station. If you walk in an easterly direction. That um, leads through to uh, Gander Hill and into Linfield. So we're close to the Linfield village borders here. And that's where your school catchment areas are. So for children on this side of town, officially your catchment areas for the Blackthorns and Linfield primary schools, although you're actually a lot closer to Harlands primary school, which is nearby as well. So schools wise, if you've got young children, you are absolutely made. Um, Oat Hall Community College is the nearest secondary school. But again, some kids go to Warden Park over in Cookfield. So come and have a look around. But lovely house, the owners have done a lot to it. Um, something I should point out actually, I didn't, should have pointed out from further back, because you can see from back here, you can see they've actually got 13 solar panels on the roof. Now I don't know enough about solar panels yet, but I'm told they are producing 3.6 kilowatts of power. So it doesn't co it cost you, it's not free to live in a house with uh, solar panels, but it doesn't cost them a lot. I think they pay 150 pounds a month for both their gas and their electricity on a direct debit. Uh, but they've got an electric car charging point. They both work from home all day and it still is a cheap place to live. So come and have a look inside. The solar panels they installed back in 2016-17 um, when they first moved here. So, come inside. So, I'm gonna do the downstairs and then I'll do the uh, garden and I'll take my shoes off and we'll go upstairs. So, first things first, in the entrance hall, really love oak flooring. I think this is engineered oak flooring. Um, the understairs cupboard, it's a very good use with a washing machine. And then looking round in order, you've got the main living room. And they've got plantation shutters everywhere, which we all love. Doors out to the gardens from this room. And this, the chimney breast is there. This is just an electric fire in there at the moment, but I'm sure you can have a proper open fire or a wood burning stove if you wished. But it's a lovely sized living room. Around the corner, you've got, now this would have been the old outside wall. So this is part of the extension. So what it's given them is a ground floor study. You'll see in a minute, we've got a little, a tiny bedroom upstairs or a little fourth bedroom or cot room, which is their study as well. Built-in cupboard in this one, so very useful. Downstairs loo, again, all revamped. It's all been very much modernised. And then look at this. In my opinion, best room in the house. Fabulous big kitchen. Great big island. Now these are, I'm pretty sure this is all Corian. These worktops are actually all Corian. I think when you look at the sink, you can see it's all curved and shaped around, but it's all very nice. And you've got a built-in fridge and freezer, the double oven, Obviously this gas five ring hob and there's a dishwasher and a wine chiller as well. Bifolding doors out to the garden. I'll show you out there next. But a great big room, great entertaining room this. And you can see where that uh, pillar is in the wall. That would have been the old back wall of the house. So this is all another big extension. And then come up the garden. So we're north facing on this side of the road. The solar panels are obviously all on the south roof. Now a lot of people, you might be one of them, always knocks a north facing garden and it really frustrates us estate agents because when you've got a north facing garden they've got this great big shed up here but often we're here in not quite full winter yet but look I'm down here in the garden plenty of sunshine here on a nice day um, the sun sets in the west over there so if you've got a north facing garden this fed this I personally think west is best but that hedge is always going to get the sunshine from in that direction there so don't always knock a north facing garden is my advice to you. Have a look at the aspect and what's around you before you do that. And as long as your garden's long enough, you'll see a lot of people, rather than having this great big shed up here, they'll have a patio and a terrace up there, catching all that winter sunshine. In the summertime, it goes directly overhead. It's only in the winter when the sun is lower in the sky. But great big terrace. Now I've measured the garden off the back of the kitchen, up to the hedge at the end there is about 50 feet, and I think I've got it as 28 feet wide here. So it's a nice sized garden. If you're coming from London or Brighton, you'd love this garden. And the big joke I didn't make a point of at the front, you've got a driveway there with parking for five to six vehicles. And if things get tight, you can rent your driveway out 
you've got this, there's this app, I think it's Park My Car or Private Park, find a parking space. But this close to the station, you can rent your parking spaces out for, I believe, six or seven pounds a day. So up on the landing, all very nice and bright. Great big loft hatch. Now, obviously, it's got an enormous loft space, this house. So you could put another room or two up there. This is the little tiny uh, study or could be a little cot room. We're calling it a three stroke four bed house. I'm more referring to the ground floor study as the occasional fourth bedroom. But everyone working from home might appreciate that. Front room there. I've got the bay window in this one. The house is absolutely spotlessly clean as well. Next door. This is the main bedroom. Good size double, again, with a bay window at the back. Full range of wardrobes in this one, they're all built in. It's a nice size room. Back bedroom, big wide bright room as well. So now they've got it, obviously, as you can see, with a single bed in it, you could have double beds in this one quite easily. But again, big range of wardrobes. And we're looking out the back. These houses behind you are in a cul-de-sac called Wickham Close. It's nice you've got these high hedges, so you're nicely screened from all your neighbours as well. That's the beauty of buying an older established house. And then across the landing, into the, again, part of the extension, this fab big family bathroom. So we've got a double-ended bath with a handheld shower, an oversized double-sized shower there with a mega waterfall above. And I think this is got underfloor. Either the sunshine or there's underfloor heating in here, but it feels nice and warm. But there you go, that is Worcester on College Road. So it's for sale for us at Mansell McTaggart's. Uh, this, like a lot of our properties, you'll see on our YouTube channels and our social media channels before we put them on right move. So if you are a serious buyer and you really are keen to find a house, it really does make sense to actually register with estate agents. Don't rely on right move because a lot of us are, right move becomes the enemy. If a house sits on right move for a few weeks, it's got a date when it came on the market. So a lot of us are actually offering our properties quietly first before we launch them on Rightmove because the lookers are on Rightmove, the buyers are on our database. So hope that's been useful and the video you found uh, constructive. If you'd like to look, please contact Mansell McTaggart in Haven Teeth. Thanks for watching.